When you think of the countryside, most people think of a peaceful environment. But as we speak, there's a war going on. And the war I'm referring to is a war between farmers who want to protect their cattle and wildlife conservationists who want to protect badgers. The major issue linking both parties is a disease called bovine tuberculosis. Bovine TB is contracted by breathing in airborne droplets from infected animals. This can happen with contact with infected badgers or cattle or the digestion of infected feed. Our first experience with TB was in 1986, but we had seen the disease coming up towards us from South Gloucestershire where it started. We'd been testing all our badgers up until that point and they'd all been clear, but in 1985 we suddenly found three of our badgers that had TB and then lo and behold the next TB test we had on our cattle, which was early 86. Uh, we went down and been going down ever since. We've lost in total about 180 cattle and we've probably only had adequate compensation on 20 or 30 of those. Uh, the compensation is never totally adequate to cover all the disruption that TB causes to your business. Uh, and I suspect we've probably lost nearly half a million pounds to this business because of having to live with TB. It was estimated that 35,000 cattle last year were slaughtered in the South West and Wales alone due to TB costing the government an estimated £100 million. Pounds. Well, I think cattle farmers in the TB hotspots of the country are, are desperate for the, the news that the proposed cull of badgers will be announced. It's not badgers we're against, it's TB we're trying to fight, and this is, I think, at last a light at the end of a very long tunnel that we've been in. We spent 20 years trying to deal with this disease with cattle-based measures alone, and it's getting absolutely nowhere, it's still increasing. We need to deal with it in the Badger Reservoir and that in the short term means that we've got to entertain culling. In the long term, vaccination both of badgers and cattle may well be part of the answer, but it's just not available at the moment. And with the very low margins that farming's got, that could be the death knell to a lot of cattle farming in the southwest. The disease is also spreading into many other species. I, we cannot give up the fight, we just have to find a way of dealing with this disease. By talking to Jan, we can see just how devastating this disease can be. So what's the answer to tackling the disease? Simply vaccination of both cattle and badgers. Yes, it's expensive, but over the next 10 years, £1 billion will be spent if the situation remains the same, meaning that sooner or later the government will have to realise this is the way forward for both farmers and badgers. Otherwise, the slaughter of animals will continue on a huge scale.